Let's do our warm ups and get ready for some standing things today. So keep your feet hip width apart, right straight down from those hip bones to your knees, to your ankles. Toes straight ahead, knees bending, going toward those second toes, sitting bones toward the floor. Ribs in and up to keep that spine supported and shoulders back and down. Just take a moment in your mountain pose, getting breathing into your focus, exhaling any tension. Draw in energy and awareness, and just release everything else. And as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down. And then exhale the hands behind you, just clasp them gently together and pour us to the floor. As you lift your heart, stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too high. Pivot over, exhaling into that pivot as deeply as you like. Spread your toes, no gripping. Lift your sitting bones, get the legs stretching a little. Move your chin, releasing your neck, and move your hands towards your head to get those shoulders moving. And then bend your knees slightly and slowly work your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up and into another little upper body back bend. So lift your heart, stretch your head back, but don't lift your chin too high. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling what happens internally for you. And again, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch the fingertips out, hands to your chest, elbows back. Stretch to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then exhale the hands behind you, clasp the fingers the opposite way. So one position over with the fingers. Lift your heart, stretch your head back. Again, as much lift to the chest as you can. And then exhale over. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like. Hands coming up, getting those shoulders working a little more. Let's breathe and relax. And again, lifting your ribs and dropping your sitting bones, work your way all the way up. And again, back bending into that upper body. Take a moment to stretch out through the top of your head and down into your feet. Inhale to the top, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling that spine area a little warmer. Side stretches next, so we're going to get those ribs opening with that lateral spine motion. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass the hands, clasp them, and then bring the arms back by your ears. Pull the shoulders, shoulder blades, and sitting bones toward the floor. And then stay facing the front as you lean to the side. No twist. Keep, keep making sure your shoulder doesn't lean forward, but that those ribs stretch apart. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and the head and hands the other direction. Feel that whole side stretch a little more. And then inhale back upright, shoulders down as you put the other hand to the front. And again, arms next to your ears, shoulders sitting bones down and lean to the other side. No twist again, make sure that that side is open to the side and up toward the ceiling. Push the foot down and the hands away, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale back upright, release your arms, and just feel the sides a little bit more released. And then we'll really stretch the spine apart for that twist, so make sure that the base of the skull, base of the spine stretch apart. Arms again to shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Clasp the elbows and bring the arms near your ears. And again, stretch the spine apart really good so you can exhale into a twist. Take a breath, keep the weight on both feet evenly, and go ahead, exhaling over. And just go as deeply as you want on that side, but keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, and slowly, in the twist, work your way up. Come into the heart for that upper body back bit, making sure your lower back isn't overworking when you're twisted. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. Take a breath, stretch it out. And then inhale upright, 
Exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, arms next to your ears, sitting by the shoulder blades down, stretch the spine apart and exhale to the other side. Take a breath and then exhale over in the twist. And again, deepen as much on this side as you'd like. Check that the weight is on both feet, that your toes are spread out, that your arms are relaxed, but right by your ears. And again, inhaling, work your way up. Stay in the twist, going into that upper body as you back bend and relax. Shoulders down, keep the chest high, and stretch out through your cardio. And then on an inhalation, come exhaling around to the center and back into extended mountain pose. So ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, and fingertips all lined up. Shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist, crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment to stretching. A little extra side stretch for reaching up on one side, coming up on that opposite toe. <clears throat> side you stretch that foot is flat. Down with that side, up with the other. And again, just feel those ribs getting a good stretch. Take a moment and breathe with it. And then both hands up, both feet down. Keep your arms by your ears, pivot forward, right at that hip joint. Stretch it out, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Drop into ragdoll. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want to. And then arms back to the center. And one more roll up. Shoulders back and down. Oh, a couple of times, get those shoulders releasing a little bit more. Take a moment as you breathe, focusing inward, and don't forget to allow those feet to sink evenly into the surface beneath you. And oh, let's bring the arms again to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. We'll go into our deep chair squat. So bring those sitting bones behind you, keep the knees beyond behind the toes not beyond and just squat as deeply into that as you want keep your arms next to your ears sitting bones go way back behind you kind of shift the weight into maybe a little bit more the heels so that you get that support from the whole foot arms next to your ears stretch it out and then lead with your fingertips and unwind back up into extended mountain Palms out, all the way to shoulder level. Stretch it out. Push to one side with the hips right above your ankles. And then the other side, keeping the hips even. And back to the center. Turn the hands, palms up. Look overhead, a little back bend. And exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot on over, drop into right dog. Slide the hands up under your knees, on your shins, and again, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Stretch the back of your neck along with everything else. Exhale back into ragdoll. Hands together again to your heart, toward the ceiling. Another upper body back bend, lift to your heart, thumbs toward the back. And this time, just exhale, hands to your heart, and release. Feel your spine all nicely warmed up. And we'll do a few standing postures. So bring your feet apart. Toes toward the front. The wider your feet, the deeper you'll go into your warrior position. We'll do warrior two today. So you're going to keep the hips and shoulders facing the direction you start in. We're going to bring the arms, as always, to shoulder level with those shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. And then turn the one foot all the way, but not your hips. Keep them facing the front as much as you can. Heel back, toes forward on that back hip. But again, keep that hip pulling back. And then going into warrior two, spread out your toes. Get the weight into that back heel as you bend the front knee right above the ankle. So the wider your feet are apart, the more this thigh bone goes parallel toward the floor, but it doesn't have to go there if you don't want to do that today. Just think your hips straight down as much as you want. Keep that core active, supporting your spine. 
Excuse me. Keep the toes spreading apart and make sure that back heel side of your back foot is giving you as much support as possible so that both feet have even support. So warrior two, and then straighten the knees and turn to the front into your star position. And oh, release the arms for a moment. So we're gonna do the warrior to the other side. And then we're gonna add on some variations as we go. So start with those toes straight ahead, hips and knees and everything facing the front, and they will stay that way during your warrior. Arms again at shoulder level. Turn one foot to the side all the way. Heel back, toes forward, but pull that hip back so you're not leaning it to the front. And again, bending your knee, pushing into that back foot on the little toe side. Sink with that knee right above your ankle. You can look at it and check to see that you see that big toe, but not the others. You don't want the knee caving in or out, but right above the ankle. Take a moment, relaxing, hips sinking straight down, shoulders right above your hips, stretch out through the fingertips, up through the crown. Exhale, any tension. Feel the support of both feet. And then we're going to straighten the knee again and turn the feet forward. Star position, make sure you're energizing out from the heart. And then release. So our, going, our starting position is going to be warrior two, and then we'll be adding on some different variations. So again, we're going to start arms at shoulder level, palms toward the floor, turn the feet, one to the side, the other one heel back, toes forward. Whole body still facing the front of that mat. Bend your knee above your ankle, not beyond your toes. Check to make sure you're not leaning in or out with that knee, but getting good support on both legs. Take a moment and breathe. And then push forward, just like we do with triangle. And turn your palms and bring one elbow down to the front knee and the other arm right above it. So get that side of your body, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, and head in as straight a line as you can. And then you can turn the hand palm um, toward the floor and bring that arm right next to your ear and just stretch from your heel out through the palm. Push way into that little toe side of your back foot. And again, make sure your elbow isn't supporting you, just positioning. Stretch it out, feel those ribs opening. And then bring the hand up and lead with it back into your warrior two. Straighten your knee, turn to the front, energize your star, and release your arms. And of course, yeah, we always balance the body, so we'll do the same thing to the other side. Keep that core active, keep those shoulders and hips facing the front. Again, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the floor. Turn your foot, and then the other one, but not your hips or shoulders. Spread your toes out. Bend your knee above your ankle, not beyond. Check to make sure it's not leaning in or out, but right above the ankle, giving you good support. Take a breath, sink into both feet evenly. And then hip join at the front, push from that all the way toward the side, and bring one arm down onto your knee, the other arm coming right above your shoulder. And again, no pressure in that arm that's on the knee, just position. Turn the palm toward your head, toward the floor as you get into a straight line from the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder as you can. Take a breath. Just sink into it. Reach out through the hand, through the fingertips, through the head, down into that back foot, as well as the front one. Spread your toes. And then hand coming, leading you back up into warrior two. So your hips are sinking straight down, arms and hands stretching away, crown toward the ceiling, hips and shoulders lined up. Knees straight, turn the feet to the front, and release that star. So take a moment, feeling the hips, the legs, and the upper body. So we're gonna do a little core work with this next one, just a little bit. 
And we're again going to start in our warrior two position. So arms at shoulder level, shoulders and shoulder blades toward the floor. Turn your feet, not your hips. Heel back, toes forward on that back one. Make sure that knee goes the same direction your toes are. Again, bending that front knee right above the ankle. Check it, make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. And then we're going to kind of pivot a little bit, bringing this back arm around to the front, and this back hip will pivot a little bit to the front. So you'll feel this whole midsection turning. And then pull the arm back. This is called shooting bow. And then bring it back next to the other one. Pull that bow string back right next to your shoulder. Oh, let's do it again. To the front, turn your whole body. And then pulling it back. And then explode that warrior arrow to the front and step back into your forward leg position. So a little bit of mid rib work on that one. And of course, we need to do the other direction because we want to keep things balanced in our body. So again, feet to the front, hips and shoulders facing forward, arms again, shoulder up. Turn your feet, not your hips, not your shoulders. Heel back, toes forward, and shoulders down. Bend your knee above your ankle. Check where it is. Make sure it's positioned correctly. Sink evenly into your feet, spreading those toes, sinking the hips straight down. Take a breath, just relax in your warrior two. You should have both feet supporting you evenly. Then again, we're gonna rotate this back arm around next to the front one, turning your whole body, so a nice little twist if you do that. And then pull the arm back, that bow right next to your ear. Arm in front stays, shoulder level. And exhale back to the center. Inhale and pull it back. Think evenly into your feet. Exhale, pull that hand to the front, turning the whole body. One more time, pull that bow back by your ear. And explode that arrow out as you step to the side. And come back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just feel that midsection maybe a little bit more activated. Relax your shoulders and run your hands to your heart. We'll look at the hands, follow them up toward the ceiling, thumbs to the back, chest top, exhale, follow the hands again, pivoting on earlier. Drop into ragdoll, hands up under your knees, on your shins, and elbows, knees, and spine straight. Bend your knees, exhale all the way down to the mat. Child pose transition, hips on your heels, Hands palms up and forehead down to the floor. Take a breath. Just relax. And then inhale, sitting up and slide off, coming into, let's do a cross leg position. Remember, creatures of habit, switch those legs around. Sitting bones behind you and spine activated with the core support and reaching up through the crown. Work our neck a little bit, so bring the chin into that indentation at the base of your throat. The rest of the spine stays straight. You can have your hands in your lap or on your knees, either way. Take a moment and breathe, just let that back of the head get a good stretch going through the neck. And then bring one hand at a time up, Weight, not pressure on the back of your head to intensify maybe a little bit more through that stretch, but no pressure. We don't want to force anything. Just exhale, letting the neck release, giving a little more stretch. And just let it release even deeper. Just chin going right into that little notch at the base of your throat. And then releasing the hands, tip your chin back up, lift it, stretch the front of your throat, move the chin around, 
Stretch the jaw, move, it. crunch the face, feel that throat stretch a little bit. But keep stretching out through the base of the skull, remember, don't crunch back there. And then tip the head back upright, switch your legs. And again, as you get those sitting bones slightly behind you and that core supporting, I'll activate it through that lower back, reach up through the crown. Keep the shoulders both relaxing down. You can keep your hands palms up to start with and tip an ear over toward one side. Ear coming down, both shoulders staying down. So the point is not to get the ear toward the shoulder, just a tip to the side. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up outside of your head, just add the hand weight, not pressure. No forcing any muscles, just relaxing everything, letting the stretch happen. Take a breath, shoulders down. If you love that, you can bring the hand to the floor and get a little bit more intensity if you want, but don't if that's already enough. And again, just breathe and relax. Letting your neck totally release. And exhale many times. And then hand back to your lap, the other one coming down, and tip your head upright. And of course, we need to do that to the other side. So let's switch the legs again. Steady the spine, get the core active, and tip your ear over the other direction. And again, both shoulders, remember, stay down, no hunching up on either side. Just let that ear come as close toward the shoulder as it wants naturally to go, everything facing forward. The side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up, just weight, not pressure, and just feel that stretch maybe intensify a little bit, but don't push, don't overdo. And again, just relax into it, staying there if you love it, or bringing your hand to the floor if you want a little bit more. Take a breath. Keep relaxing. Just allow the stretch, don't force anything. Deep breaths, letting it go. And then release your hand, tip your head upright, bring your knees to the top and out to the front. Press out through the bottoms of your foot, up through your feet, up through the top of your head, and then bring one knee Bending it, bring the heel in next to your body and wrap your arms around. Pull that knee in really close. We're going to stretch the shoulder a little bit. So bring the shoulder inside that knee and then wrap that arm back around the leg toward your hip. And then pull the knee and shoulder in toward each other. If you've got delicate shoulders, be careful. But if you like to have a little bit of pressure, that's okay too. Other arm comes out. Stretch the spine apart, we're twisting. Exhale, follow that hand around. Bring it to the floor near your body, on the floor, or clasp your hands behind you. And then stretch up from the sitting bones through the crown. That hip that you're turning away from can come up a little bit as you turn deeper into the twist. So shoulder and knee pull into each other. And that shoulder that's reaching around comes closer toward the back as you twist. Take a breath, just deepen and relax as you're ready to do so. And releasing your hand, bring it back to shoulder level, follow it around to the center, releasing your shoulders and your leg. Feel the twist energy move through you. Just breathe and relax as we get ready to you know, twist to the other side. So sitting bones slightly behind you, spine nice and stretched apart so it can twist. Bend the neck, knee, bring that other heel in. And again, wrap both arms tightly around. Pull the knee in, stretch up through the crown, keep the shoulders down. And then the shoulder comes inside the knee, wrap the hand around, back toward your hip. Stretch up through the crown, other arm out in front, and exhale, follow it to the back. Drop the hand to the floor or close in to your hip or clasp the hands if that works. And again, <clears throat> knee and 
Shoulder pull into each other, getting some work through that shoulder going on. Crown reaches up even further to the ceiling. And as you exhale, turn away from that knee and into your twist a little bit deeper if you want to. So remember, twists are always personal practice. Do what's right for your body. That back hip will come up a little bit as you turn around so that you're not planting that lower back too much into the floor. Take a breath, exhaling and maximizing as much or as little as your body needs today. And then release that hand to shoulder level, follow it back around to the center, releasing both arms and your leg. Take a moment, feeling your body a little bit more energized through that whole spine. And then feet to the end of the mat, sitting bones behind you. Keep that core active and slowly use that core for support as you lower to the mat. And as you get all the way down to the floor, just take a moment to breathe, shoulders down, hands to T position, palms up outside your shoulders. Take a moment, relaxing, shoulders down, sitting down slightly toward your heels, and either bend your knee and raise the right leg or keep it straight and bring that leg up toward the ceiling as high as it wants to go. We're going to keep the head on the floor and roll into another twist. So we're taking the foot all the way to the left side, right, right leg coming to the left side, right hand coming to that left hand on the floor, head staying on the ground. Use a pillow if you need to. Hold the foot with your left hand if that works for you, otherwise hold the leg. And bring your right hand up above your shoulder to the ceiling. Look at it, palm open to the ceiling, right at shoulder level, lower that arm behind you, reach one to four. It may not make it, that's okay. Just go wherever gravity brings you. And then exhale and release. Just relax into that twist as much as you'd like. Turn your head for that neck area twist. Hold your foot or leg for that lower back twist. And the arm will come down when your middle back is ready to twist. So just do what's right for your body. Exhaling any tension. Breathing deep. Letting things go. And of course, on your own, you'll want to hold the twist longer. But for now, just release your foot or leg and roll onto your back. Foot to the ceiling. Flex that right heel. Lead with it as you lower the leg all the way to the mat. When it gets there, just totally relax. Straighten things out, getting ready, of course, to balance the body and your energy as you twist to the other side. Sitting bones toward your heel, back gently down, bending your knee or keeping it straight, bring that left leg to the ceiling. And of course, just press it up with that Shoulder area down on the floor, hands or palms up, head on the mat, and roll to the right side. Foot to the floor, hands together, and then hold the foot if that works for you, or your leg wherever it goes. The left hand comes up, turn your head and look at it, and again, that hand stays right at shoulder level, not down toward your foot or up toward your head, as it lowers behind you toward the floor. Go only as far as gravity brings you, and then just relax as you breathe. And remember, gravity does the work. You don't want to force anything on yoga. Just let it be effortless. Head turning, neck area twist. Be gentle if you need to. Foot or hand on the leg, either way, whatever works for that lower back twist for you. And of course, just breathe and relax into that hand moving toward the floor as you become ready for that middle back twist. And just let the hand go as far down as it wants. No forcing anything, remember, just do what's right for you. Deep breaths, just releasing any tightness. And of course, again, we're going to let go of that leg or foot, roll onto your back, flex the heel, and lower the leg slowly to the floor. So use that core for support as the leg goes down. As you get all the way to the mat, 
Just bring your hands near your hips, palms up away from your sides. Relax the shoulders, turn the toes toward each other, and then just release any tightness in that lower body. Deep breath in. Exhale, close your eyes. Just move your head side to side, finding where that neck is tense and tight and letting it go. And then bringing that chin to the center, finding a comfortable part of your rotation. Just let everything relax completely. Body growing heavy as you just exhale any of the tension left anywhere. And let your body sink into that earth support. And as Mother Earth supports you, just let your body go completely comfortable, released, relaxed, totally. And as you let the body go, just let the thoughts of your body go as well. And as those thoughts drift from your mind, know that other thoughts will drift in. Just let them drift out as easily as they enter, drifting away like your breath without awareness, floating away. No need to remember the past, no need to anticipate the future, no need to focus on the content of any thoughts coming to you. Just let them drift in and out like the breath, unattended, unaware. And as you let the thoughts drift and your body sink into the earth and brace, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward and find the peace deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind, only be in peace. Relaxing as long as you can, it's even better. Maybe it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. You can bring energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And just begin moving your body however feels good for you today. Breathing more fully, stretching more completely as you are ready to do so. And whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, City bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. And if you have another minute, we'll just do a gentle breathing exercise to finish that relaxation. So bring your right hand in front of your nose and then press the thumb against that nostril. Exhale out of the opposite side and then inhale. And then bring your little finger and ring finger to that nostril, releasing the thumb and exhale and inhale. And again, thumb to the nostril, exhaling and inhaling on the other side. And just keep alternating as you bring the little finger and ring finger to the nostril and release the thumb, exhaling and inhaling. And the thumb goes down, exhaling and inhaling. The other side, thumb releasing, exhaling and inhaling. And just continue at your own pace until you feel that calming breath filling you, releasing any tension left. 
And whenever you're ready to release, just bring your hands down and appreciate that calm, heart-centered energy filling you completely. Thanks for joining me.